Let's look at another problem uh, where we want to find the uh, x and y components of a vector. Here you see we have a vector which is 102 meters per second and it's an angle uh, 66 degrees clockwise from the negative y-axis and I'd like to find the x and y components. So the way I do this is I construct a rectangle around the vector such that the vector becomes the diagonal of that rectangle. And then you can see I have a right triangle here that I can solve. And so let's do that. Let's find the x component of the right triangle. So I'm going to draw a side here on the triangle. And I'm going to label that x. And as you can see, we know the angle here is 66 degrees. We're looking for the opposite side of the triangle, and we know the hypotenuse is 102 meters per second. So I know that the sine of 66 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which I'll call x, over the hypotenuse, which is 102 meters per second. So x is going to be equal to 102 meters per second multiplied by the sine of 66 degrees and that turns out to be 98.18 meters per second and we have three significant digits here so we'll round that off to 98.2 meters per second. Okay. Now we want to find the y component of this 102 meter per second vector so I'll look at this side over here I'm looking for the this side of the triangle now. I'll draw that vector in and I can see that this is uh, the adjacent side of the triangle and we know the hypotenuse so I know that cosine of 66 degrees is equal to the adjacent side which I'll call y over the hypotenuse which is 102 meters per second and so y is going to be equal to 102 meters per second times the cosine of 66 degrees and punching that into my calculator I see that 102 times cosine 66 degrees is 41.487 meters per second and I have three significant digits so I'm going to round that off to 41.5 meters per second as we'll see soon, knowing the horizontal and vertical components of a vector, uh, being able to find those um, is going to help us when we want to add two vectors that are not perpendicular. See you next time.